herd this hurt a lot lot I think this was literally the hardest thing I've ever done by a lot um, I kind of expected myself to be able to do over 300 watts and I started off at that pace and for a second it looked like I wouldn't be able to finish at that or 300 average because I was like shifting back and forth a couple of times because the gear felt like too hard but then also pedaling at a higher cadence felt also like too difficult that I couldn't produce the watts that I wanted so my power was just going up and down for a second and it managed to squeeze out that over 300 watt average so I did 302 which I'm pretty happy about like I can't complain it's solid I could have done any better so now two out of three done I have a 12 minute one on Saturday, at least I don't have to do over 300 watts for that. So three out of three. So this is how I show three. Robert thinks that this is like a child's way to show number three with your fingers. But I have a very stiff tendon in my wrist. So I can't do like the, the adult way. I can't straighten this finger. <laughs> so this is how I show three. Three out of three. Time to roll is done. I did the 12 minute one today and that was the most disappointing one of all of them. I felt like mentally drained from the past two because it literally felt like I had two races already this week and I pushed so hard. So I was like, 
super nervous this morning, tired, legs felt kind of loaded. So my goal was like 285 and I did about 280, 279, 280. I have to see once I've saved the ride, uh, what it looks like, but I think it's like about 280 for 12 minutes in the talk. And today's execution was not great. Like, I just felt like I was just grinding and my legs were just tired. So I couldn't hold the watts in like low cadence. So I tried to like spin up a couple times, but then the power dropped like pretty drastically in those little spin ups. So like I was just, like the legs just were not there. I'm not super happy about the power or the execution, but I did what I could. It hurt a lot. I cried on Kristen finish. So that's the sign that I was giving it all I had today. And I think overall the testing was successful. Like I reached my goal power in everything besides the last one. And I think just this test just showed that I am in a good shape. I'm ready to race. And it's exciting to be healthy and fit right before the season starts. It's, it's good, it's a good feeling. And it feels good to go to the altitude camp when you know like the base fitness is good and you can just like keep building on on that. Okay, so I thought to talk a little bit about my testing. Uh, obviously, there is a lot to unpack and I talked briefly about my results with my coach and we are kind of working through all that uh, during the upcoming weeks. But basically, uh, I think I'm happy with my results or like just kind of like uh, I did my best. I think especially the three minute, six minute power were good, uh, 12 minute power. Uh, it was a little less than what I was shooting for, but I think in general, like it was like close enough. I think in general, this testing was just really brutal. Like I've done 20 minute FTP test before, just a couple of times. Uh, and this was my first time doing the three, six and 12 minute test i just have to say that it was both mentally and physically very taxing at the end i was pretty drained just kind of mentally like ready to be done with the testing now we are smarter and know more about my physiology basically what this all means is that my estimate vo2 max is almost 67 ml per kg per minute which is good for a female endurance athlete uh, my my power metrics were good. My coach is really happy, so I'm happy. Um, I trust him and he's someone I look up to, so it is very nice to get some positive encouragement and feedback and, and compliments from, from my coach, who is definitely coaching some real rock stars. So I feel like he wouldn't say these things if he actually didn't mean it. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, um, it seems like my body is burning through a lot of carbohydrates so we need to work on my efficiency a little bit during the next few weeks so basically i just produce a lot of lactate but my ability to use the lactate for energy is a little limited so um i need to be more efficient uh, in be able to rely on less on the carbohydrates to be a better long course triathlete so right now it seems like my 70.3 power uh, capability is like 215 watts um, or like basically I have the physiological capability of pushing 225 watts but my ability to fuel that 225 watts is limited so I need to be able to take in at least 90 to 100 grams of carbohydrate per hour and kind of work my way to 120 grams per hour, which I'm definitely not capable right now. Uh, and that's why 
uh, I'm probably realistically able to ride about 215 watts in a 70.3 race. But also this test kind of like helped us to understand, uh, or it kind of provided proof that I have a very high metabolic rate and maybe that's the reason why I haven't been able to run up to my potential in 7.3 races um, because I'm just burning through a lot more carbohydrate on the bike and then not fueling enough because last year I basically averaged like 60 to 70 grams of carbs per hour uh, which is obviously a lot less than like 90 to 100 what I uh, probably should be doing uh, and that's why I always felt like I didn't perform uh, during the run. So basically what we know now is that I need to work on my efficiency um, and we have a plan for that. Uh, and then also I need to work on my fueling strategies on and off the bike, but also like definitely like on the bike, pushing up the carbohydrate intake.